as Firefox is not supported in Chrome OS, in order to run Firefox on a Chromebook, we will need to use Linux development environment. As we have already installed LDE onto our Chromebook, let's open the LDE menu and load a Linux terminal window by selecting Penguin. We now need to check that the instance of Linux that we are using is up to date. So at the command prompt, if we type sudo apt-get update, when we press enter on our keyboard, Linux will check for updates. When we are once again presented with a command prompt, if we type sudo apt-get dist-upgrade, after pressing enter on our keyboard, any updates that Linux has found will be installed onto our computer. We are now ready to install Firefox. However, so that installing software into our instance of Linux is easy, in a previous video, we installed a software management utility called Flatpak. The Flatpak command for installing Firefox is sudo flatpak install flathub org.mozilla.firefox When we press enter, Flatpak searches for the Firefox files that need to be installed and prompts us to confirm that we wish to make changes to our system installation. If we type Y for yes, Firefox will install into our instance of Linux. We now need to wait until we are informed that the installation is complete. When we are once again presented with a command prompt, we can type exit to close our terminal window. We can also close the LDE menu and try and load Firefox. If we open the launcher and search for a folder called Linux Apps, within the Linux Apps folder, we will find an icon called Firefox. When we select this icon, Firefox will load. However, the speed that it loads at will be dependent on the specifications of your Chromebook. Don't forget that while Firefox appears to be running natively on our Chromebook, it is in fact running in a virtual instance of Linux installed within Chrome OS. This means that while you can see and use the Firefox window, Chrome OS and Linux cannot see each other. So for example, if you use Firefox to download a file from the internet, that download will not appear in Chrome OS, but in the download folder for Linux. So we recommend that you look at creating a shared folder so that you can share files between Linux and Chrome OS.